Uh, I want to talk about these cultivator sweeps and what they do, but when I look here, I see something that reminds me of something very important. You should never let your cultivator sweeps rust, and I always do because I seem too, too busy to clean them up. Because, and they'll rust literally overnight because of the acidity of the soil or something. Once they rust, the dirt doesn't slide smoothly over the cultivator. It boils over. So it doesn't do nearly as nice a job of cultivating. You really want to slice just under the ground with a cultivator, an inch, half an inch deep. Once you get dirt sticking to it, it begins to boil and roll. and doesn't do nearly as nice a job. And that's just because it rusted and gets sticky. And by rights, they should be cleaned off every time you get through an oil. Uh, and if you have rust on them, they should be sanded until they're really smooth. We have a problem here. We don't cultivate enough, enough acreage at one time so that they get smoothed up. If you're cultivating 10 acres, by that time, they'll finally get all shiny and smooth. But here, the rust lasts from one time to another. Um, we try to set these cultivator shanks, the sweeps they're called, so that they'll throw dirt underneath the plant and bury up any weeds. I mean, lots of times, I remember my dad used to say, uh, there are two ways to kill a weed. You know, you can cut it off, you can bury it up. And I think sometimes burying up a weed is just as successful as actually digging it up. Because when you dig it up, it still has a root. If you cover it up, you smother it. And it, you know, it's just not going to grow. If you, so all you want to do is throw dirt over the weeds with your cultivator sweeps like this, see, and bury them up. And if you get them when they're an inch or so tall, it works very, very well. And so you can move these in or out so they do just what you want them to do. Speed is important. The Lillison likes to go fast. That's the cultivator in the rear. And uh, if you can go fast and not hit the plants with these, well, then it'll work even better because it'll throw the dirt in there. Vegetable farmers and their weed control machines. In this video, we visit nine vegetable farms in three New England states to talk with growers about their weed control equipment and how it's used. They will describe a variety of cultivation tools and approaches to weed control. Hopefully, their knowledge and experience will help you get a better understanding of cultivation equipment and techniques. Matching cultivation tools to the soils, crops, weeds, and other particulars of a farm can be a complex task. Growers that are trying to reduce or eliminate their reliance on herbicides need information that will help them make good decisions about cultivation and weed control. Extension, research, and the private sector working together can generate that kind of information. Funded in part by the USDA Sustainable Agriculture Research and Education Program, promoting environmentally sound and economically viable agriculture. This video was produced by Vern Grubinger, University of Vermont Extension System, and Mary Jane Else, University of Massachusetts Agroecology Program.